Hi everyone, this is Denis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply DB scan clustering with Rapid Miner. So DB scan stands for density based spatial clustering of applications with noise. So let's go ahead and see how we apply that in Rapid Miner. First of all, I'm going to re require some data and I'm going to generate this data this time. Generate data block is going to help me with that. Uh, so this block provides me with a target function which I can select and that target function can be almost anything. So this time I will just go ahead and use the three ring clusters. So let's see what it's, it means. So when I try to run this, it will give me an error saying that the number of attributes should be two for this. So I should just go ahead and check that. So I set this, um, this parameter to two. Um, let's see what we have here. Oh, so apparently we don't even have enough data points. So let's go ahead and play with these a little, little bit more. So I'm going to require, let's say 1000 data points and let's also increase the largest radius of the, uh, of the ring clusters. Let's check again. All right, so now I have a lot of data points which are really, really well um, separated from one another. So I would like my clustering algorithm to be able to detect those clusters pretty well. All right, so let's go ahead and use our clustering method, which is DB scan. All right, so what DB scan um, has is two parameters. One is epsilon and the other one is the minimum number of points. The epsilon is actually the, um, the um, the perimeter, the radius around one particular data point. And if in that perimeter, in that uh, radius, we have more than uh, these minimum number of points, then that particular point is going to be recognized as a core point, meaning that it is, uh, it's going to be a dense area. So it will be included in the, um, in, in the cluster. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, we didn't put the cluster outcome as an output, so let's also do that, fix it. And here is my visualization of the clusters. You see, I, I ended up with m many more clusters than I wanted to have, so I need to fix this as well. So one thing that draws my attention is the uh, is the ranges, right? So it just um, the ranges are not normalized, so maybe normalization is going to help me with that. Let's try that. I will require a normalize a normalized block, but what I'm going to do is actually a range norm range transformation. It is also called standardization. No, it's it's just it's normalization. Uh, so range transformation. I'm using that to set my um, my values inside my data set between the minimum and maximum values. So between zero and one. Therefore, now my epsilon has a meaning, a better, um, well, we can make more sense out of that epsilon. So if I set this to one, everything is going to be included. Let's see, we will end up with one cluster. See, one big cluster, everything is in one cluster because our epsilon is actually the entire range. So let's go ahead and play with that epsilon. I'll go ahead and, uh, well, select 0.2. I don't know if it is going to be enough, but let's run it. No, basically it was not enough. We still have one big cluster. So let's check 0.1 and visualize it. Perfect clustering. So now we ended up with three clusters. So that was uh, DB scan with RapidMiner.